What's up, friends? Welcome back to the channel. Kara Corey here. I've got a little bit of a different style video for you today. We have here the, I think it's fairly new, the Shark Flex style. This is a system that incorporates both a blow dryer, but then it also comes with these other styling tools. So you have like a curling brush with it, paddle brush, you have an auto wrap curler that looks super cool. I've seen a few other girls use this and I've always been interested in the Dyson, but that one is double the cost of this. So when I saw influencers using this one, getting the same results at half the cost, I was like, I gotta have it. I need to try it. I need to see for myself. I am for hair type. I have that very fine hair, um, slightly on the thinner side, I feel like. So today was a hair wash day. Thankfully, this came in the same day, worked out beautifully. So hair wash day, I've got my hair like 80 to 90% dry, basically. I don't know the instructions. I feel like I've seen everyone else kind of start with mostly dried hair to do the hair wrapping part. We're gonna see what happens. I'm hoping for the big voluminous, at least some volume. I have no volume. This is what my hair looks like essentially after I style it too. It's just very flat. So let's see if the shark flex style gives us some better results. Haven't opened her up yet. Got this off Amazon. I will link it down in the description box below. It costs me $270. Okay, all these instructions. I don't really feel like reading instructions. This is how it comes. We've got a left barrel and a right barrel. So, oh, one's recommended for each side of your head. It says begin with 80 to 90% dry hair. Select the direction of the curls by choosing the corresponding barrel. I kind of first just want to use it as a blow dryer though, because I am interested in that. See how long this cord is. So oh, it's pretty long. One thing for me, and this might sound minor, but I have very small hands, very small wrists, and I don't know about you all, but I can't deal with heavy hair tools. They hurt my hand. They give me a sore wrist and I just get impatient and it's not worth it to me. So I'm hoping that this doesn't feel too heavy. In all honesty, without using it yet, I feel that that price point, 270 isn't horrible for the fact that I have all of these in separate tools. I have a blow dryer. I have the Revlon styler with this brush. I don't have a paddle brush attachment like this. But then I have several different curling irons. So I feel like you're getting four items for the cost of one. If it in fact meets all your needs, that actually could be pretty reasonably priced out. And then we also have just the nap, the normal uh, hair dryer attachment. This is how long the cord is. It's very long. That might seem as a minor detail. It's really important for me to have a nice long cord because not everywhere you go, if you're gonna bring this traveling with you, you know, sometimes you gotta make it work. So this is very long, love that. You have three different airflow settings right here, low, medium, high. Then you have this red button is temperature settings, low, medium, and high. You have an on, on off button. And then up here, that blue button is the cool shot. Press and hold a cool shot. That's to kind of help seal the hair cuticle and help lock in the hairstyle. Okay, so that is the little hinge latch. I like this option. Feels pretty lightweight. I'm going to use it for just a minute because you want it 80 to 90% dry hair before you actually do the barrel air, air wrap situation. But just to get some of that underneath, see how it feels, we're gonna go in and use the, the blow dryer for a minute. Oh, or should I do this? That is long duck dong, that's super long. So maybe I do wanna try. That could be weird though. Should I try it like that? We're gonna give her a go. All right, I don't want my hair too dry, I just want it to kind of give that a go. Let's try the regular blow dryer by itself too. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it definitely, using these round brush type things, it always does pull my hair out a bit, which makes sense because you're brushing and tugging your hair as you go down. So I think that's just the, the way it's gonna be. That's really easy to put in and out though. Once you figure out where the buttons are and the settings are, it's pretty easy. Let's see how this feels. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, I can tell you right now, just from doing that, that feels way more higher test than my normal hair dryer does. I have a Hot Tools hair dryer, and I feel like it takes me forever to blow dry my hair, even when my hair is already in a very air dried state. That I can tell will 
dry your hair very, very quickly. Let's switch over to the air wrap, auto wrap situation, because that's what I'm most interested in. Uh, don't forget, you also do have that regular blow dryer attachment as well. I could have put that on there. So that's why my hair was just blowing everywhere. So you have options depending on how quickly you need to get your hair done. I'm gonna spray some of this Living Proof Heat Styling Spray just all over my hair. I really try not blow drying my hair a lot because I did balayage for a long time and I'm dying to have it again. It's just the integrity of my hair definitely was compromised from that. And I don't know if it's aging or just thyroid dysfunction, but my hair is definitely thinning the past few years and just feels like it's not growing. So I'm trying to take better care of my hair i guess is the point but i still only end up washing it probably once a week actually i probably should section my hair i am really lazy when it comes to doing my hair i usually don't section it and i think i can personally get away with it because my hair is so fine you so fine you don't let my name Ricky. but anyways i think it's so fine that I can get away with not sectioning my hair because there's just, I only have so much hair, you know? But for the sake of trying to look like I'm a professional and know what I'm doing, we shall section them. Like the direction of the curls by choosing the corresponding ferrule. So I usually like my curls away from the face. I think most people do. Turn on the style I want. Hold a half to one inch section of the hair four inches from the ends, making sure to let the ends hang freely. Please take a section that's even in length for best results. That's really hard for me. I feel like my hair is super uneven. Figure it out, right? So I just, this scares me because I notice it just kind of like sucks the, it sucks the hair out for something. Hold the hair in place for 10 seconds, then press the cool shot at least 10 seconds. Turn off the styling wand and pull the barrel straight down. And that sounds like a lot of button pushing. <laughs> I do it right. Holy, I didn't feel the cool shot. I was pushing the cool shot, but I didn't really feel cold air coming out. Oh my gosh, look at that curl. Look at the volume in that. I wonder if I should, no. I've got hairspray, but we're just gonna do this natural. I'm gonna time myself just because this will might speed up the footage a, a little bit. And I know for me to purchase something like this, I wanna know if it's gonna make my get ready time more time consuming or is it going to save me time? My hair is also very, not only is it very fine, but it's naturally pinned straight and doesn't hold curl very well. So I am going to do the hottest heat setting. I don't know if I was doing the cold shot right. I know I did watch some people's videos who said if their hair doesn't hold curl well, they do have to let it hang on there longer than the 10 seconds. This is so far the results we're getting on one side versus the other, looking pretty geared. So we're gonna just move it along now. Show you how it looks in the end. I can immediately see I have way more volume than I would ever normally have in my hair, especially because I didn't add any um, I have a dry bar like booster spray. I didn't even use that. I totally forgot. So I could probably get more volume. I do think there's a bit of a learning curve. I realized you're supposed to hold a section four inches from the ends to let the ends hang freely. And I know some of my ends were being sucked up by it. I do feel like I got better as I went along. I may try to redo some pieces, but I think what I'm going to do is just let it settle for a minute. That took me about 30 minutes. It'll probably get quicker the longer I do it. I don't know, 30 minutes actually to me isn't that bad. I usually let my hair air dry anyways. So to be able to have such a polished look in 30 minutes, which like I said, I think I could get quicker if, if I was used to it, if I wasn't filming, if I had, I'm not really looking in a big mirror. I've just got a little mirror in front of me. I think this looks really good. What do you guys think? Wow. Let's see what the husband thinks because he's coming in. Love it. Does it look like I went to a salon? It does. Does it look like how, like, would you look at me and think I did something different or does it just look normal to you? No, it looks good. Like, it looks like you had your hair done up for something special. Jushed. Jushed up. Looks like I have a little more volume to it, right? It does. It's a little bit of a learning curve. I feel like there's some pieces I could definitely like redo and stuff like that. But overall, I feel like like there's more, there's more volume to it. There's more bounce. I don't like my hair super like curly curly suit anyway. So I don't mind that it's not super tight curls. I just like that it looks like I've got 
some lift and add in a little bit of spray. I feel like this side's definitely better than this side. This is the side I started with. Got a few pieces down here that are pretty flat. It could kind of touch up a bit. Let's try to touch those up. Now that my hair, I think, is as good as I'm going to get for my first time, let me just go through real quick my final thoughts on the Shark Flex style, it's called. Uh, I forgot this little trick. I could have done this, too, that I've seen some girls do where they turn it this way and use it like that to also curl their hair. I found it actually relatively easy to use, even though it took me a minute to figure out the buttons, the button placement, but it's not too heavy for my hand, which is important. Even though you have to kind of flip through a few buttons, you have to first turn it on. You can sh set your airflow and your heat. So once you get it latched in there, you want to count 10 to 20 seconds. Then finding the blue cool shot button would take me a few minutes, but I kind of got the hang of what to press and when, and then you have to shut it off to then pull your hair out. So it's a little bit of a process, but it actually isn't that complicated. I felt like I got the hang of it pretty quickly. For me, I do think I need to be better about separating my hair out more because I did find Sometimes I would catch pieces I didn't mean to catch. This didn't also make my hair super duper ringlety or Shirley Temple curls, which isn't my vibe anyways, but it just gave me this nice bounce and volume. I think if I wanted it a little bit curlier, I could take smaller sections. I could hold it on there a little bit longer. And it also says to playing around with your own hair's moisture. So for me, my hair was almost fully dry when I attempted this. So maybe the next time I do this, I'll spritz my hair or keep it just a little bit on the wetter side, maybe on the 80% side, just to see if that changes how things curl. But overall, I am super impressed. I love it. I think this is going to be something for me I can now travel with if I'm doing photo shoots or something. This will be my go-to to give me that little bit of an extra lift, volume. These are the curls I like anyways, just a very... A loose kind of natural curl. I think it looks so pretty. Let me know what you all think down in the comments below. Do you think this was worth the price? I honestly do because all these separate attachments, like I said, if I costed out my hair dryer, my my paddle brush, my all the things, it would equate to this cost anyways. The other thing I want to say too, now that I'm looking in the mirror, which is nice, for applying that much heat on my hair, my hair is not all frizzy and I haven't used any kind of hair serum or anything. I just used a heat protectant, but my hair isn't frizzy. It's actually quite shiny. It looks really healthy and feels really good. So I'm all in all very impressed with this. Let me know if you like these types of videos, if you want to see any other reviews and let me know your comments down below or if you have used the Shark Flex style, let me know in the comments and let me know if you have any tips or tricks. As I continue to perfect this, I'll be sure to update you. But so far, I'm sold on it. I'm so glad I got it. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed before you head on out of here. And I'll see you on the next one.